In this video, we're going to talk about Corona for Cinema 4D. So we can go in the official website here by searching in Google. And this is the website. If we go to download Corona page, we can go here and directly download the Corona installers for 3ds Max or Cinema 4D. This is the current version right now. It's a uh, seven version and it's also a 45 day limited demo and you can use it for also commercial purposes without any limitations as is written. You can also check here the gallery if you want to know more about Corona, which is used for interior design, renderings or architecture, industrial design. These are many authors that create content using Corona render and you can see this is really amazing, great looking renderings and you, you can basically do uh, anything with this uh, render engine. Once you have installed it, this is our plugin. So you will install it in your uh, Cinema 4D. So of course you need to have Cinema 4D installed previously. Well, you, I am just scrolling around here just to show you many examples of what this render engine can do. And you can see there are many interesting things there. So this is the installer here. Uh, it didn't take too long, just the time to scroll a little bit. I'm gonna extract it. And this is the installer here, double click on that. And you're gonna proceed in the installation. So downloading is pretty fast. Installing is pretty fast. It's not a big, there you go. So I'm installing right now the typical but you can also customize it, choose a particular folder in your computer. I'm just gonna stick with typical and click on install. And again, this is not gonna take too long. I'm just gonna wait a few seconds. So I was saying, uh, while I was exploring a little bit the website and scrolling the gallery, that's the time that it took to download it. And now it's installing and downloading additional packages. You can see we have 3.4 gigabyte of content, which is a good sign. It means that it's going to have a lot of um, tools that we can use. And this is just the first video of a series of videos. So please support our channel to create more videos about Corona and also about Cinema 4D or any 3D software and visualization software. So, well, this um, the, the 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 speed here depends on your internet connection, so it could take a little bit of time actually. But now while we wait, uh, I'm gonna tell you why Corona is good to use with uh, Cinema 4D because it's a really lightweight renderer. It's really simple, simpler than V-Ray, for example, and it it has uh, similar tools. So you can render really nice realistic scenes uh, in really short amount of time. This is actually um, because I use it. And uh, well, while we wait, we can start also to download some assets that we can use. So once it's finished, we're gonna build up a simple scene just to test if the render is working fine. It should work. Um, but we're gonna make a test together. So right now, I'm just gonna leave the installer going. And in the meanwhile, I'm gonna go here and I'm gonna show you this website called renderpeople.com where you can find assets that you can import. And shortly, you will understand why I'm, I'm using this website here. It's a pretty simple reason. So I'm gonna click here and this is the website. You can find a lot of 3D models of people looking really realistic. This is the first reason why I use usually use this uh, website. So if you scroll down, you can see many models and you can go here to free models where you can download free models and you're gonna have static models and rigged models. So you can use them to animate it and create the character animation. 
and I'm gonna download this one for this example and you can see it has this Cinema 4D option so I can directly download in Cinema 4D format I don't need to export or import or, or anything I just need to download it and when it's done I'm going to extract it now here you, you will find other models and also they have uh, animated models that you can use for animation and uh, you can find also well additional information if you want and if you like to buy it you, you can uh, I'm, I'm gonna write a link in the description that, that you can use so you can reach directly the website and another important reason why I use this one is because I will also have the Corona version inside the folder where I will find Corona materials so everything will be set up there you go so I'm gonna show you here this is the folder you can see I have many versions simple 3d files but also Corona V-Ray and native render so I'm gonna of course select Corona and these are some advantages you have also Octane which is another renderer so it's pretty uh, useful to have already set up Corona for us so we will not need to do anything except double click on the file and in this case and also here we have the textures which can be used to create or recreate the material in the text folder okay so I'm gonna open up the the file here or actually well to open up you need to first extract it so I'm gonna just right click and copy this into the folder so I'm gonna create a new folder and type um, well the name well this is how I do it but you can also right click and unzip or extract so double click right click and paste it copy and paste it and this is gonna basically extract it outside and this is now useful to open up and I should see some preview here I don't know why it's not displaying but that's okay we're gonna see how the overall model works so just I'm gonna select one of these okay I'll, I think I didn't do the the that step correctly so I'm gonna just redo it okay so just type again and I'm going to paste it double click right click paste it and now we should be ready to go yeah so you can see the preview here because we have extracted successfully the files so you can select one that you like and then you can see the preview in the right side okay so just double click and you're gonna open up the scene in cinema 4d and you can see there it has the bones that can help you with the animation and we can do a quick render using the standard uh, render region sorry standard uh, rendering viewport but you shouldn't see anything because we are not uh, using any light at the moment so first render should be totally black so let's go to corona menu and this is the first sign that you have installed corona correctly so you should see the menu there and first of all let's go to the render settings in Cinema 4D and switch to Corona but in this case since we have opened directly Corona scene from render people the render should be set and here you have the settings for Corona but we're gonna talk about those in other videos I'm just gonna do an introduction here so you, you can see here it has some panels that will help you to set up renderings but again we're gonna talk about that later now we all need all we need to do is just create a simple scene just to test if the render works fine 
So I'm just gonna add something real simple. Well, let me create a simple light in Cinema 4D. So this is not from Corona, it's a standard Cinema 4D light, just to show you if the renderer works with the standard Corona, uh, sorry, Cinema 4D light. So let's launch Picture Viewer. And if you're interested in Cinema 4D, you can check our video course in Cinema 4D. So there you go, you can see the character. So basically you can use Cinema 4D lights with Corona, no problem. You can also use, I think, standard uh, Cinema 4D materials. Let's go here in the character and this is the material tag. And I can see that this is Corona, a Corona material. Now, if we go in the material editor, we can check that and see if it's a, a standard Cinema 4D material or a Corona. And I think this is a standard, actually, standard material. But uh, this is just to show you how you can investigate a little bit. And you can use the standard Cinema 4D lights and standard Cinema 4D materials in Corona. But we are going to also talk about that later. Let's go and do another render. And well, yes, you can use, of course, also the rendering tools in Cinema 4D. OK, I undocked the Corona menu. I'm just gonna add a simple light. You can see here you have all the tools and we're gonna check those later. We're gonna go step by step. We will increase the level. Now, if you can also try the, to convert the scene so that you can convert the lights and the materials that you have in the scene into Corona assets. And you have also interactive rendering, interactive viewport gonna click on interactive viewport it's gonna look similar to the cinema for the interactive but well let's add the light now there you go so once you click the light is gonna be placed in the zero 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 position so I'm gonna move it up and there you go you can see now we are illuminating with the Corona light, not the standard Cinema 4D light. It looks similar, but, and right now we are rendering interactively. So this means that I can move inside the viewport. If I have interactive viewport assigned, I can move and inside the viewport, update the scene and everything is gonna show up. And I also have this other tool here, which is called the Corona frame buffer or VBF, sorry, VFB, which is another rendering tool that we're going to use. And these are the properties for the Corona light. Now, again, if you are already a user of Cinema 4D, many of these actions that I'm doing will be really easy to understand. I'm just rotating, scaling, and positioning the light and hold control and move it to create a copy and then rotate it. But if you don't know how to use Cinema 4D, please check our Cinema 4D video course in the channel. Now I'm just moving this around and I'm inserting a color inside the parameter of the light. So I'm going to uh, add a pink color. You can see the light is turning pink. Also work a little bit with the intensity of the light. And again, select this opposite light. And I want to uncheck visible directly. So it's not going to be shown in the render. We're just going to see the effect of the light, but not the light itself. And I'm adding a third light. And I'm placing this in front. So just to have, and also want to change the shape here to object and sphere. So it's gonna look like an actual sphere. So this will be visible and the other two will not be. It's just a choice for this example. You can do whatever you want, of course. And again, this is just an introduction. We are just checking the standard things. So I'm launching again the Corona v VFB and this is the result here. You can see it looks already 
beautiful and that's my 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 light here my spherical light and that's my character and well everything you, you can see also the other two lights the pink one and the bluish one and I already have a nice three-dimensional effect thanks to the lightning lights are really important so this would be all for this introduction and we have a lot to talk about we have a lot of tools here in the uh, Corona renderer that we're gonna explore we're gonna talk about lightning natural artificial materials and so on so see you in the next video